All right, welcome everybody. The first episode of Whiskey Watches in the Works. And tonight we do have a special guest, Ashton. Say hello. Hello. How are you doing tonight? Fantastic. I'm doing fantastic. Fantastic. Well, we have a great episode for you tonight, our first episode, and I have been waiting to open this bottle. E.H. Taylor Jr. Small Batch, one of my favorite bourbons that I have had to date. I was able to find my first bottle about what, six months ago. Uh, we were tra traveling in Arizona. It's a long story. Basically, we kind of befriended a uh, um, the alcohol department manager at one of our favorite uh, grocery stores in Arizona. Mm -hmm. He said, I've got something for you. Um, was not expecting this. Now, I'd seen these bottles. He pulled it out. Of, he didn't even have it out, and he I don't think he was going to mention it. Mm -hmm. to anybody or to you at first and then after talking to him for a bit and you your chatty Kathy got on his good side and he said hang on a minute I have something for you in the back mm -hmm. went in the back brought this out yeah made a comment said a guy in his 30s <laughs> should not be drinking something like this I mean, yeah. he wouldn't expect a guy in yeah. his 30s to be drinking something like this but it was pretty cool. It was really cool, and it caught me by surprise. The even cooler thing is that uh, AJ's, they didn't hit us with the some, you know the two $300 price tag. Like a lot of the places that you'll see, I think I got that first bottle for around $40. It was insane. Yeah, it was, it was, it was absolutely insane. And remember the guy in the deli department? He saw in the cart. He was like, bro, no way. You did not. They have that here? And then we dropped everything and literally like ran over to the to the liquor section. So um, it had been a while uh, since you know we had that bottle and to find another one. Shout out to my mom and stepdad Steve. Thank you so much for allocating this bottle for me. Much to my surprise. At, uh, at another AJ's. At another again. AJ's. At another AJ's. Um, huge shout out to AJ's uh, Fine Foods and Grocery Stores in Arizona. <laughs> and uh, I guess with that, let's get into the bottle. So, you want to go ahead and take it out for us, Ben? Sure. All right. Look at that, a fresh bottle. We'll put this one off to the side. H. Taylor, let's go. So, this. Take this off. This is how fresh it is. The plastic is still yeah. on it. I've been, been waiting a while to open this bottle, but I'm excited to get into it tonight. And while she's doing that, I did just get these Glen Cairn glasses. Um, I was a little hesitant and really looked to, around for a while to find a, a glass that I wanted to kind of start the whiskey watches in the works for the tastings, but. I like these glasses so far. I've had a few drinks out of them. I, you haven't had any yet, but it it really surprised me, like on the nose. And I know, like I've watched a lot of bourbon on YouTube and whatnot, and uh, you know, sometimes you see people on there and you're like, wow, they look kind of ridiculous with their nose stuck in a glass. But well, it's like with when you go wine tasting. Yeah, they're they're. And you you yeah. do it. You really don't. You don't really know what you're doing. You don't really know like, what you're doing. You know but you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to do it. Um, but I will say with the maybe with the shape of these glasses though, I think it it opens up into the nose. I don't know. Sure, we'll go with that. Well, we'll go with that. All right, do you crack it? Yeah. All right, here we. Do you want to do it? No, you can. Okay, let's see if we get a good. Ooh, that was great. All right, we'll start with you, babe. All right. Are you supposed to swirl it like wine? Honestly, I don't know. Sure, I'm sure somebody down in the comments will tell <laughs> tell us that we're, we're supposed to. I know when I uh, had my first couple in these glasses, I was doing it in almost like wine. You could see the legs uh, on the edge on the inside of of the glass. Yeah, from what I remember from that first bottle, the smell was insane. Now with the E.H. Taylor small batch, I think it's coming in at what, 100 proof, 50%. Um, so it's not like, it's not a full, full throttle, if you will, but it's up there. It's it's 100 proof. It's a, it's a higher, you know, proofed bourbon. It's not, you know, it's not an 80 proof. Uh, now, I remember from your first bottle, I tried it. 
That's good. And I was pleasantly surprised mm -hmm. with how smooth it was. Very smooth, yeah. And I'm, I mean, and I don't even know really what I'm talking about, but I remember trying this that first time and I was like, whoa. Yeah. It's actually incredibly good, really smooth mm -hmm. for someone that has no idea what they're talking and about. And I wouldn't say you have no idea what you're talking about because, um, I mean, you've had a lot of my bourbons over the years and this one in particular, you just yeah. had a lot of compliments to say. It smells so nice. Like it's, it's not a lot of ethanol. I don't know, it's, it's, do you get a lot of sweetness? I'm not... It, it smells sweet. It smells like... Like, I want to say vanilla? A vanilla. Caramely? Like something sweet like that. Yeah, but, but subtle, right? Are you getting a lot? Yeah. I don't know. I can tell you it smells like fall. It smells absolutely delicious. Let's just get into it. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at the legs. And the the notes there, they're they're sticking around too. It's it's got a little bit of a punch. It's a hundred pu uh, proof, but it's good. It's it's definitely it's yeah. a great oh there it is. I'm getting the uh what do they call that? The Kentucky hug. What? The bourbon <laughs> hug. Yeah, they the afterburner. Uh -huh, right in here, getting it. But it's good. <laughs> You know, it's uh, it's October. Mm -hmm. This is like a proper fall drink. Yeah. This reminds me of sitting around the campfire, being up north in Arizona, the woods, campfire going. You know, kids running around, playing tag, etc. Mm -hmm. Just like an amazing time. Now these bottles are are hard to come by, but. If you run by this bottle, if you find this bottle and you can get it in that, I don't know, 40 to, what's the max you think you'd pay for this? Realistically, because you're going to see them out there. I think we saw one cool. in Julian for $200 and well, even I walked out and was like, no. Yeah, I mean, now that I know that I can get this for around $40, mm -hmm. would I pay $200 if I saw it somewhere? No. You but, know what I mean? But like, what's the most you would pay for this bottle? Probably like $65. 60, I think that's a fair price point. I think 65, yeah, it, that that's a little much. I mean, excuse me, 65 is still, it's still 65 bucks. If, I mean, if but, I if I didn't like it as much as I do, I wouldn't pay the $65 for it. I would stick mm -hmm. around like, and try to find it for the forty dollars, but since I do like it a lot, yeah, I would pay the sixty-five dollars for it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I do. I had a long talk actually with your uncle Brian this week. Um, her uncle Brian is an avid uh, bourbon aficionado. Yeah, probably more than most. I mean, his yeah. uh, his collection is yeah, it's a ridiculous collection. I mean, yeah, it puts. <laughs> It's most collections to share. Yeah, I think he's, you know, he's got like every Pappy's, every Weller's, every E.H. Taylor. Don't okay, tell he's got a lot. And we had a, we had a good talk about E.H. Taylor specifically. And, you know, I've only had the small batch, but there's what, barrel proof, um, single barrel, uh, I think there's a rye. And then there's all the specialty ones. There's like, uh, there's like a oak one and a, um, I forget the, it, the the warehouse C tornado tornado survival one. There, there's a bunch of them, and he said that they're they are all amazing. His literally, I think he said this is his everyday drinker. I can see why. Um, it's smooth. It's it's rich. It's full of flavor. Um, you know the smell. It's there. It 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 doesn't taste like a cheap bourbon you yeah. know like some bourbons and you you're drinking them and you're like mm, get a you know like an ethanol kind of taste to it etc not this one this one's great I'm, i've really enjoyed trying to hunt down e.h taylor 
And hopefully you can find some more bottles. Yeah. If you, like, if you told me if I drank this and then you told me this was only a $40 bottle, I would be shocked. Yeah. You know, it's always fun to find a new bottle and uh, this one happened to be gifted to me. So, you know, that's also just as amazing. And uh, I'm gonna let this one ride for a little bit. This one, you know, it'll, it'll be on the shelf for a while. Well, now I'm a little worried that you told everybody the secret spot to get it at. I know, especially in Arizona. Maybe I might have to bleep those out. Yeah, maybe take I that might out. have to bleep that out. You shouldn't uh, release my <laughs> secrets, if you will. You know what, I I don't mind. I'm, I'm not here to hide anything. I want you guys to go out and be able to find great bourbon at great prices and especially support local businesses. Um, you know, every once in a while, you can find stuff at some of the big places, Specs, BevMo, um, I don't know, you know some of the, I know you have a I'm better... I'm not going to give away my hookup spot for getting Blanton's. You are, you're doing better than I am. On, I'm going on bottle three now. You're going on bottle three. That I've been able to obtain through this particular location of a certain store. 2018, so probably like for five years. We've been, I mean, we're always not looking for it. We're not not looking for it. Like, we're not usually actively looking for Blanton's, but We'll ask. You'll ask, and you usually have a better... Uh, I am three for three now. No, you've only gotten... Two for two. You're so two I'm, for I'm two. I'm on my third one. I'm one for 50. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably <laughs> one for 50. Yeah, you... What is going on with that? I... I'm not going to give away my secret spot, but I'm very lucky with this spot, and every has time it been, I, Has it been that same spot? Every time I go in there and ask... It's the last it's the one. Same spot. They happened to have it, had just gotten it in. Mm. I happened to be at the right place at the right time. Yeah. Well, I'm not complaining, that's for sure. <laughs> and the even cooler part is, especially with the bottle cap, uh, with the toppers, and I know a lot of you already know this, but you got me consecutive letters. Yeah. So now I'm on uh, B, L, and A. Yeah. I think well, the first one was L, then I got an A, and you just got me I a B just bottle. just got the B, yeah. You just got a B bottle. But. I think I'm gonna have you beat. Here, come. Should I tell them, or should I let them wait? I don't even know what you're talking about. Uh, in a couple weeks, might be going somewhere where. Oh no, save it. Okay, I'll okay. save it. I guess you guys will just have to wait and see. But uh, it could be some future episodes in reference to. Yeah. One of the. Uh, one of the hardest bottles, in my opinion, I wouldn't say hardest. Would you say one of the hardest? I, I okay, have one no of, idea. A very difficult bottle to find, especially at MSRP. Um, yeah, <laughs> there might be an episode coming in the near future about that. Funny, I actually, uh, uh, Nora and I, on the way home from our, our date tonight, we stopped into a spot. I saw a bottle of Blanton's. You're... You're not gonna like the price that they had. I didn't buy it, but they wanted three hundred and fifty dollars. Three hundred and fifty dollars for a bottle of Blanton's. That's not anywhere near what I pay. If you saw a bottle of Blanton's, a, a topper letter that I didn't have, no. What's the most you would pay for that? Well, knowing what I can get it for, and that I'm pretty lucky on actually getting them, mm -hmm. I would never pay that much for Blanton's. I think the most I would pay for regular Blanton's. Like $100. I was gonna say 80. Like, absolute most. Like, like. If I, if I was going to my spot mm -hmm. and I was just all of a sudden not being lucky like I yeah. normally am, and I was just like, oh man, like miss after miss, I would probably pay $100 if I saw one. Okay, fair But enough. if I went out tomorrow and saw it for $100, no. I think I I respect the 100 I think I would stay at 80 for regular Blanton's. I would maybe pay $100 if it was like going to be for a gift or a, a special occasion. Like, yeah. a, you know, one of my buddies is getting married, blah, 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 blah. Right. You know, maybe I'd pay 100 But... Um, 
yeah, I think with what I have coming up soon, um, I think I may be good on the Blanton's itch for a little while. Yeah. I'm about to start focusing on some more. E.H. Taylor um, really would like to get a single barrel, uh, barrel proof, the rye. And that Tornado Warehouse C Survivor, um, I don't I don't know the backstory behind that. I don't even I've know. I've seen the bottles. Uh, I'm assuming uh, they had some E.H. Taylor that was in Warehouse C that survived a tornado. I mean, that sounds <laughs> and those, accurate. Yeah, those barrels, you know, that's, that's that, uh, that's those bottles. So the E.H. Taylors are the ones that I'd really like to focus on, but, you know, out here in San Diego, the, uh, the bourbon prices are kind of crazy. Yeah. So, and thank you everybody for tuning in on the first episode of Whiskey Watches and the Works by John Ross McCarthy, my beautiful wife, Ashton, <laughs> Colonel E.H. Taylor, Jr. Small Batch. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment on this video. All the love is greatly appreciated and it helps the channel. And be sure to go to Instagram and like my brand new Instagram, Whiskey Watches and the Works, uh, and you can find daily content loaded up on there. You guys have a great rest of your evening, and make sure to drink responsibly. Cheers.